Right, after many years in the wilderness, numerous prototypes and samples in and out of my garage, uh, the Evo is back. For those of you that know the old product and its predecessor, you'll notice straight away how small and compact it is. Anyway, I'll explain how we've achieved that a little bit later on, but first, let's set it up and show you how quick it is to do. So to start with, all we want to do is just open up the main poles and insert them into the moulded elbows. This is the only step that's different to the original concept. At this point we have what you had of the original product, four poles. We want to just span them out, like so. Alright, take the middle support pole, thread that through the sleeve in the middle and then start with the longest pole which is the outer two poles, the side poles. Just pop them into the, the moulded blocks like so and then the rear two poles they go in next and then finally what tensions the whole product are the front two poles. So a quick little tip for all you that have never used an Evo before. You want to use your palm here just to put a little bit of pressure on the block and push this down or twist it, should I say, as you're pulling at the same time with the pole just to remove it. So I'll push it down, pull the pole out and the same when you're putting it up, put it into position first. Use the palm again to push the block down as you flex the front pole into position. And there we are straight away, you've got a freestanding shelter. Just before I put the ground sheet in position, I just wanted to show you this little feature here. We've increased uh, the length of the, the skirt of the back. So if you use it in the summer and you don't want to use the ground sheet, you've got a little bit of extra fabric here just to protect anything that you don't want to come in contact with the ground. Put the mozzie panel on now. It's just one single zip. So it's a very quick and easy thing to do. Like I say, one single zip all the way through. At this, at this point, if you like, you can attach the storm poles. We will do just to show you. I'll just adjust the storm poles to tighten it up and then put the toggles around. They're not needed but they just neaten it up if you'd like to. One of the big benefits of this product is it's compact size and it's lightweight. It only weighs 6.5 kilo and that includes the bag, the pegs, the storm poles, the mozzie panel and the ground sheet. Strip all that back if you only want to use it for summer use and pull the ground sheet out and you can reduce that weight even further. The bag dimensions are 106 centimetres by 17 centimetre diameter so it's really small. So if you're either carrying your gear or fishing off a barrow, it's a perfect size. It's 3 metres wide, 1.65 metres deep, and its maximum height when the mozzie panel's on, it's 1.25 metres high. Obviously, like we've shown you and like, like we've previously mentioned, without the front, you can widen it right out and lower it right down. It's entirely up to you how you want to use it. One of the other big advantages about this new compact design Obviously the packaging's small, but because we've been able to put these elbows on here, these new elbows that we've got here keep the fabric taut through this section of the bivvy. So straight away, there's more usable space at the back of this new shelter. If the weather's particularly unkind and it's a little bit stormy, keep your storm poles on the front here and use these storm cords. The cords are stored inside these little triangles. Simply take the cord out, tension it, tension it up and just put your peg in. So in a nutshell, that's the new Evo Compact. It retails at $179.99. It's in the shops in March. So if a lightweight, compact shelter is your bag, check out one of these. 